right so we have the key to the factory archives i guess we have to find the factory now Look like factories at all. Pass the baker. Hello. Oh. Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan... You don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. I have to say, I was never a big fan of these phone conversations she has with her friends. Um, there will be more of them later in the game. Uh, I guess they serve as a sort of contrast with with the adventure life and the home life, but eh, I'm not a fan. But it's not terrible either. It doesn't make it a bad game. It's still great. Right, uh, what did I pick up? Telescopic key. Right, uh, wind up key. Open. Now, like many old games, the contrast between cutscene quality and in game quality is rather jarring sometimes. Um, but, you know, it's 15 years old, not much you can do about that. Let's just that the factory entrance. Warburg. Beautiful window. I just walk in, nobody home. Giant empty old factory. Where am I going? So, I need to go up the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes the cursor is a bit annoying when you don't exactly know where to click. I guess lots of games with like point and click adventures and all have that problem where you have to sort of go all the way around the screen to see where where can I go and where does it lead because this is different from this one. <laughs> uh, looks like an office door. Never 
never mind me just going through your things. This thing's jammed. Okay. Is there anything else we can steal here? Yeah. It was a bit annoying with the music. Okay. It was just music. Ooh. Madame Vora Bergrugrand. There's only one street in this place anyway. Object recovery of outstanding payment. Despite numerous follow up letters on our part, we notice that you still owe the sum of. Mm, lots of money. Dear Anna, I find myself under the obligation to undertake certain procedures against your company. So that, eh? Oh my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. I don't know much about taking over businesses, but shouldn't you know whether a company's in debt before you agree to take it over? Uh, yeah, maybe not. Follow the land, 6th of March. So everything else was dated april something um so this was written a month ago dear hans i know how much you dislike the written word but i do not have the time to forge you as a voice cylinder i imagine that someone in your entourage will be kind enough to read these few lines to you i received your latest set of plans your project is extraordinary your all-time masterpiece perhaps Time seems to have had no effect on your genius, quite the contrary. I am proud of you, my dear little brother. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that a century has gone by since the last time I saw you. It only seems like yesterday that you rushed away from Valadilen. We undertook production immediately, following your instructions to the letter. The locomotive was ready within a week. Wow, fast workers. If only you could see it, but you will see it, that much I have promised you. It is magnificent. It seems impatient to set out on its maiden voyage. There is only Oscar left to build. I hope I will finish him soon, but as you can imagine, his mechanism is complex and takes a great deal of time and handiwork. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand you wish me to bring you that cursed prehistoric doll. The very thought of which I wonder if it is still in the cave and if it is what state it is in well. but what does 60 years matter after all to an object already several thousand years old I am going to find it Hans I promise you I have a bit of a nasty flu at the moment which is running me down a little I should be better in a few days though the sale of the factory is taking shape. The lawyer from New York should be visiting and we will be able to sign the contracts. Then I shall dot dot dot. She actually wrote dots. <laughs> well. Reminds me of Monty Python. Uh, so that's probably the locomotive's plans. I can't read that. Uh, so yeah, she was writing a letter to Hans, so he must be still alive, unless she was going senile, maybe. Probably not, considering it's a game. And I've played it before. 